happy Saturday. I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and I'm back with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Assassin's Creed Syndicate from Ubisoft. This is going to be gaming live stream walkthrough episode 5. Now, the past few days, I've been doing some stuff behind the scenes and actually been playing some of the game behind the scenes, so I just learned that I'm actually moving up. I can actually in recruit up to five gang members where our, our gang is called the Rooks. And there are our rivals, of course, are the Blighters because they answer to the Templars. In turn, they answer to the main guy, Staric. I've also done some other activities, some behind the scenes in the game, including boosting liquor, some fight clubs, all sorts of stuff. And I've also increased the earn from these activities. I mean, there's so many distractions in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I almost couldn't save the game. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the showing. So, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Here we go. Hope everyone can hear me okay, and hope everyone's having a good weekend. Coffee. Making sure I got my screen. Okay, where's my screen? Okay, here we go. So I get to play as either Jacob or Evie. Jacob is the male, of course, and Evie's the female.
So our base of operations is the train that we hijacked. I mean, not hijacked. You took over from the gang leader Rexford Kalock. Apologize for the stuttery frame rate. Uh oh. Trouble. trying to intimidate the guy. I'm trying to ditch the blighters. This place is full of them. Shut up. Shut up. Why is it business? Okay, this is much better. So, I can actually recruit up to five members of the Rooks when they become available. And then there's gang upgrades, so you can actually, let me show you what I mean. The gang upgrades are right here. There's three class, there's three ranks, statuses, that you all encompass. Ringleader, Insider, and Swindler. So, as the Ringleader, you do the day-to-day -day gang operations, where you either, you can have, you were, you recruit and train the rooks 
You have the Rook Riders, the ones that actually have their own horse and carriage. You got the Rook Watchers there, your, are your sentries. And they watch out for blighters and immediately they'll take them out with a gun upon sight. And then you got the Carriage Sabotage. And by the way, this isn't how much pound I've earned. At 16,969 pounds. Carriage Sabotage as an example. The Blighter's Repairman seems to have left the country. Blighter carriages are less resilient. You buy this upgrade, which I'm not going to do right now, and it will actually make the carriages, the Blighter's carriages will become weak, and they'll be easy to run off the road because you get to ram them in chases and shootouts. Here we, got, here we can also recruit the Rook Brutes. The Rook Brutes are the big type, the archetype ones, the ones that can do much damage and take less damage. So they're the ball headed big lug guys. And you got the Rook Enforcers. It's locked because you have to unlock the Rook Brutes before you can unlock the Rook Enforcers. It says here your gang now includes the Enforcer archetype. So these Enforcers. They use long range weapons. So you don't even have them yet. And then you got the Rook Carriage. But when you get the Rook Riders too, it says you can actually upgrade your carriages. There was room in the budget for better wheels. The Rooks now dominate the streets of London with more res resistant carriages. So I can upgrade that. But first I had to get this one first. The Rook Riders first before I can unlock this. They're prerequisites if you think about it. Summon a carriage full of Rooks to your aid. Cavalry call. This you can call the Cavalry. And then you've got enhanced firepower. So a lot of them will pull out their guns upon Blighter's training looks to 10 grand. Then I'm looking at this one here. Yep, that's the training rooks. Now you go to Insider. This deals with mostly stuff like, for example, bribing the police with five pounds. The little rooks, those are the kids who are the pickpockets who steal from the blighters and give to you. There's also uh, the growler broom, boom. Which means there's going to be a lot of this type of uh, horse and carriage available on the street. Dispatch, I don't know why you would need that. You got explosive delivery. There's going to be some crates full of explosives around the city. And they're going to be within ready and within use to take out enemies and carry out sabotage projects. Now you got Swindler. As you see, I've taken, I've got 50% discount with these hallucinogenic darts, where I didn't understand from Alexander Graham Bell. When you use the hallucinogenic darts on fire pits and furnaces, and it causes them to have explosions. So you can use that to take out a whole bunch of enemies. When you use the hallucinogenic darts in concert, with the fire furnaces. Black market affiliation. Ammunition comes cheaper when you know the right person. Save 25% on gun and throwing knife and munition at any shop. Black market ties. Having a hand in the black market dealing comes with its own benefits. Buy new weapons and other gear from the inventory at a discount. So let's give that a try. Oh yeah, you got the pub games. And every 30 minutes, not in game, but IRL, in real life, money goes to the safe. So I was the most I was able to take out like about 5,000 to 6,000 pounds when you wait over like hours or, because you could be doing something and while you be AFK, and be riding on the train or doing something, whatever. And the game won't shut off like, on, like in Grand Theft Auto. And you can allow it to make money 
while you do other things and while you do other things around your home and you just let this game play and then you got here we got bookmaker hire professional bookies and make money at the races and yes you can participate in horse and carriage races doing so will increase the train hideout income by 500 pounds every 30 minutes so each each of these you unlock that allows you to have 500 pounds it's going to keep generating money as you do other activities or other exploits in the game then you've got tea magnet invest in London's tea businesses to increase the train hideout income so every time you unlock these these businesses are gonna give you 500 pounds every 30 minutes so if there's about let's say if there's about hypothetically there's about five of these businesses happening five of these you've unlocked about three or four or five of these if you think about it on or about the same time or minutes from each other you can be breaking in about 20,000 pounds, 10 to 20,000 pounds, even in every 30 minutes. So this is good because you get to unlock and you also get to craft your weapons as well and upgrade, especially outfits and everything. And then you got Shop Investor. Buy local shops to increase the train hideout and come by. Here we go. 1,000 pounds every 30 minutes. See? You got this compound income in a game similar to that uh, I think of the Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2 games. You unlock a whole bunch of these. So, so in order to do that, I would have to get the bookmakers business, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit. But in the meantime, you got City Takeover. This one is locked because I, if I don't have police bribes, it remains locked. But if I purchase bribing the police, I can actually buy off the rook so they don't mess with me. Because if you're within vision of the rooks, I mean not the rooks, the uh, blighters, the rival gang in the red, or the templars, if they see you, the blighters more specifically if they see you they're gonna come at they're gonna provoke you and then they're gonna come out and want to beat and do you in so that's one thing you keep in mind you got the bomb discount and this is half price on bombs so let me see here I'm gonna bite the bullet and do the black market ties. So I'm gonna be getting 20% discount off the black market. And besides, on the train, I have a black market merchant on board. So I got the hookup. But then, all around the city, I'm locked into a discount, I would, I would gather. So this is awesome. So this is the gang's upgrade, gang upgrades, but there's crafting. Now crafting means is anytime you see the anvil and it's black, that means you are able to craft a certain item. Like for example, these belts, and even certain weapons like this, uh, Henry's Kukri. Henry is the is the uh, British Indian. Um, exile or expatriate and he's got his weapons so for this with three thousand dollars you can upgrade it and then we you see the white bars on the gauge the white part of the gauge means is that once you upgrade it's going to be up to that level you'll add about three plus points to the lethality and one point to the attack then there's uh I'm wearing cloak of the people and this and these cloaks have a benefit. This buckled cloak is soaked with the sweat of laborers who have worn it before. It's surprisingly surprisingly comfortable. And they also act as defense. You got the assassin Kukuruki. 
It's a quiet one, and it's serrated. Lion claws, which are like a form of brass knuckles. So, you either pay by, and by the way, there's two types of currency I should mention. You've got the pound and you got gold. You got the master assassin knuckles for six grand. This is just an example, but you can also legendary cape. When you craft that by seven point, it will add a lot, a layer of defense. So if you really think about it, when you upgrade, you can actually allow yourself to be much more invulnerable to enemy attack. You got the eager eagle splendor cookie cookery. So. When you do these upgrades, they're gonna bring the, uh, the, po the what's I say? The um, it's gonna make your weapons more. Um, it's gonna step them up. But then you got the ivory and jade king sword. You increase the uh, abilities of these. But the current weapon I have here, let's step out of crafting. You can also craft large medicine pouch, but I already did that. But the medium bomb pouch will allow you to carry more. And then you've got the uh, throwing knife upgrade, which allows you to inflict more damage with the blades than on default. Okay, and these are the helix points. When you have a certain amount of helix points in game, Without having to pay for microtransactions, you know, from a credit or a debit card, you can actually pay in with the in-game currency of these um, Helix points. Now, if I wanted to get 10,000 uh, 10, pounds, it's only going to run me about 299 Helix credits. And then I would be use those Helix credits and I can get more money in-game without having to take out your wallet and many people don't like to spend on microtransactions for a fact or even for something in game now there's crafting plans need to know much more about those buy add-ons don't have any bonus content that's gonna be someone some purchasable DLC, which of course isn't free. Now going back to the skills, when you unlock certain skills, they will allow you to rank up with either Evie or Jacob on a separate. Now, between the both of them, I've got them ranked up to rank five, which a lot of things start ha happening once you increase your rank. You got counter boost, I have a choice between counter boost. Uh, what's this one? Knife master. Throwing knives stun enemies for a short time. You allow recovering. You automatically recover throwing knives when performing multi kills. In other words, when you use them, it'll replenish itself. And then you got the scavenger. It says here you find more rare crafting resources from every source. Execute, health boost. Counter boost. Adrenaline, once you get four, it allows you to regenerate quicker. We'll go with this. Oh, I'm up to rank six, that's awesome. Going into the inventory, the weapons, like I like the goddess cane sword, which I use for either both, because it unlocks for both Eevee and Jacob, which means they share the same weapons. Now you can actually craft, craft your gauntlets once available, but this happens when you progress through the story. But if you select 
you have to find the schematics. You gotta in order to do that, you gotta find the schematics. So for example, let's see if we were going to go look for this one. For the reinforced gauntlet. Or maybe the uh what else? Which one's much more powerful? Let's find the most powerful, like the Chimera. There's two criteria you have to meet, two prerequisites. One, the item has to get crafted, and secondly, you have to be at level nine. This one, you got to be at level eight. That's the Devil's Handshake. This one, level seven, but it has to be crafted. So let's. So in the meantime. Can craft this one. How much would it cost to craft? It requires me to find the schematic. So let's say if I was gonna go with the uh, the black one, I have to find a certain schematic to unlock it. But to do that, of course, I need to accrue more helix points. So with the raw materials will allow you to craft. So in other words, you would buy them like in a surplus if you use your helix points, for example. Now, if you'd say if you did want to use your money, your hard earned money, it's up to you to knock yourself out. If you wanted to use your hard earned money, you could buy the helix credits and they start at US four dollars and ninety nine cents five hundred helix points for four dollars and ninety nine cents then you got twelve thousand helix I'm sorry twelve hundred helix points for nine ninety nine that's a twenty percent bonus when normally you wouldn't be getting a thousand helix points if you wanted to get three thousand helix points it's nineteen ninety nine but it's fifty percent bonus so you get like another additional a thousand on top of the two thousand. If you think about it, the helix points are dollar per dollar. So five hundred helix points is four ninety nine US. So that makes perfect sense. And then you go into fifty nine percent bonus where you get eighteen hundred additional for twenty nine ninety nine. And of course, for well, most of us, we're not going to spend this. We're not going to use our money to do this. We'll just use the helix points. So, but there's one thing I also want to show. The other types of weapons. We got the gauntlets. We got the firearms. I unlocked about a few of the firearms. This one's only 2,400 pounds. This one, I forgot how much it was. It was either about 4,000 or 5,000. But anyway, I unlocked it. But this one is the single action army quick shot accuracy and you can see the uh, the benefits gauges so with the bullseye revolver with this one the Lancaster barrel the red indicates is how much it probably takes off it decreases speed quick shot accuracy and clip size so if you want it to be in the white, which means it's going to add. So in order to get this gun, I had to prog progress through the story. Some of them, yep, and then it becomes available to you. So I got this one. I prefer the single action army or maybe the, uh, the bullseye revolver. Yeah, let's go with the bullseye revolver. Now enough Gavin, let's get back to game. Now Oh, I'm in enemy turn. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch that train. And you can fast travel to get on the train. But first I wanna unlock what's here. And since I have this uh, claw, uh, what do you call it, the uh, rope on my gauntlet, 
allows me to get away quicker, especially from enemy attack. And I've been hijacking um, ale, ale deliveries from the blighters. But there's also a fight club, which we're gonna see. So, there's something locked in there, which I gather is the chest. It's a special chest. Must be above. And this is 1868 London during the Industrial Age. Now I'm gonna get the train. Now, as I said before, I can fast travel two ways. When you see these white two arrows, let me show you. Let me show you. When you see these white two arrows right here, this indicates that you can fast travel. See that? And you just hit the X button if you're on a controller. Now, for me to get the train, it's the same function. Hit the X button, then hit A. I'm going to be back on my base of operations, which is, of course, a train that we hijacked. That we actually not just hijacked, but we actually won after we defeated one of the Blighters' gang leaders. And we're gonna see how much money I've taken from this, how much money I took in from the safe. I'm un I'm unaware of how much money I can keep in the safe at a given time. But I will get a notification on the screen in the game to say that it's full. That the safe is full. Huh, that Nigel's full of surprises. And we'll be doing this mission later too. Dress to the nines, are we? It's just the chest is empty. That Nigel's got some weak ah, So I guess I didn't, okay. I didn't bring the money in yet. So. So I guess we're gonna do this Gatling mission. So I'm gonna talk to. Uh, Allison or Agnes, whatever her name is. You should see what's waiting for you at Whitechapel Station. Nigel wants to make up for things, so he got you a gift. All right. So she's Irish. This probably reminds people of this TV series called Peaky Blinders. I think that's how the makers of Assassin's Creed with this storyline, you know, came up, you know, as inspiration. Oi, Mr. Fry, come have a look at this. Look at this. Ain't she a beauty? Yeah. Oh, well done, Nigel. Yeah, I nicked it off the gang across town, got all stewed, and then took it when they was asleep. <laughs> Here, sir, let me show you. We stole their gatling gun. <clears throat> oh, shit. It, it's jumped. Oh, shit. <gasps> Move! Oh, it ain't jammed. Let's put this baby to the test. Oh, 
this jams, but it does work. Oh, look at it. Shoot at the incendiary. Maybe this can be some upgrades for this. Oh, it overheats and shit. Uh oh. See that? That means they got their target. They got their sights on. I knew this wasn't a mission for Evie, my twin sister. So of course I'm gonna go three hours with this stream. Which means 12 midnight, I gotta cut them off. So let's start this again. to actually be fully prepped and replenished.
believe it's time to go. Oh shit. More. That's the whack. like the level design in this game. Boom. Boom, baby. This close. Hopefully, I got the checkpoint. So, I guess there's three parts to this mission. A family of three living in the slums had a seven by six feet. They were with. They made wood in place. Uh, they need to leave that up for me to read. Some facts they're probably dropping. Ubisoft is dropping on me. Yeah, hope I got the checkpoints. Because with these cutscenes, you know, they're kind of tasking on the hardware, so they definitely, I gotta have the checkpoints. Okay, we're in motion. This time we got the PD attack. Yep, I got the checkpoint. Yes, I got the checkpoint. Hopefully I'll have enough help to take these guys out. So the gang in red, the rival gang are the blighters.
got it. Attach the black bear. Relax, I've got this. just like to take this time to say if you are enjoying the stream if you like the content I'm bringing you why not like follow and subscribe to the 9 to 5 outlaw does gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more let's play classics such as Assassin's Creed Syndicate and many other games I have and now back to the stream This is Robert Topping. I thought I'd stop by for a visit, my lord. He's a bookmaker who sponsors a lot of stuff, including horse race, carriage races, as well as the underground fights and all that, fight club and everything. This is the board, the assassination board. So we're also gonna continue with this storyline. In the last stream, I met Charles Darwin. So, let's read what it says. Sequence 4. Active. A quick and reliable remedy. A rift has opened between Jacob and Evie. He does not support Evie's quest for the peace of Eden, and she sees Jacob's campaign to take on the Templars as reckless and sloppy. Working separately, Jacob heads to Lambeth to investigate Staric's soothing serum while Evie traces the precursor artifact to the home of master assassin Edward Kenway. So that's the current story where I am right now. You must stop by and see me if I did. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check with the black market guy. Up at the break of dawn, eh? Now White Campbell is a hundred percent liberated. So we're free of blighter activity. Meanwhile, let's go meet the black market merchant. To refill all. Hopefully we get some exclusive weapons coming. Yeah, I got all the medicine, hallucinate jerks, bullets. Okay. Let's take a peek in the safe. Don't worry, we'll get there. What's in the safe? Okay, not bad. Not a bad pool. At 14,000 pounds, yeah. Now, I think you can... Yeah, you can actually... There's a cutscene of you actually standing by the uh, doorway of the train, and you can actually flip. See that? 
some cut scenes of the train in motion and stopping occasionally. Uh, you can, like I said before, you can have this running and let the safe build up and let the money come in. The this... train's ours now. May as well make ourselves at home. No shit, sister. Now, we're gonna continue on with that one mission. We're gonna go to see Darwin again. And for those who don't know who Charles Darwin is, or care to, or not, Charles Darwin is the father of evolution, <laughs> which is still a hot topic even in 2023. Oh, we're going to do a train robbery. Look at this, 2,125 pounds. We're going to do a train robbery. Let's stick with that. Let's run with that. Now, I could be anonymous by... Putting my hood on. Uh -oh. We're about to rob a train, see? You could also do boat raids as well. Abductions, like kidnapping high ranking um, members of the blighters, you know. There are like assets to them, so we scoop them up. We let we make them powerless in return. So we're about to do a train robbery. Eh? Oh, here we are. That's it. This one's gonna be easy as pie. And watch my strategy. There's only one thing to steal, so it must be something of high value for this. Meanwhile, let's detach. You can detach the train when there's enemies on it. But watch what I'm about to do here. I stun her with a hallucinogenic dart, so she's gonna go tripping balls and attack anybody. Oh, you want me to go peacefully? Bam! Sorry, sister. Shot ya. Took out the gap. Now I'm just gonna get rid of the old garbage. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Bye, boy. Oh, look. I just threw on the other end. It's okay. <laughs> Well, let's go for the prize. Detach. Goodbye. Let's see what else we can take. There's something valuable here. We're in blighted territory, I think. Where's the goodies? Oh, the treasure is over here. Oh, shit, it was over there. Fuck. Let's get out. Damn it, I'm gonna have to restart that. I'm gonna have to restart that mission. I'm an idiot. Oh, wait, what was in here? Nope, let's look for that train again. I guess it was. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Now we're gonna hijack some cargo. Usually we're gonna be stealing some booze. This is watch this shit. Create a diversion. Stay down, bitch. Smoked you. I smoked you. Now we take it. Surrender. 
All right, one burger for a house. Get your own. I'm gonna steal your own. Now I'm gonna raccoon on the go. Walk on, girl. To my side. Steady on. Get on, quick. Quick, Mike, get on board. Keep moving. Saw those flags. Those are the carriage races that you can participate in and make money. Meanwhile, here we are. We're here to drop off. Bingo. See what skills I've unlocked. Now, let's see what skills I've unlocked. Oh, look at this. I got seven skill points, so let's put these to good use. Driver. Now EV is six. Oh, I've just upgraded to level six now. Good. So both EV and Jacob are level six. Good. Slayer. No words you won't die from a fall. Gunslinger. Gunslinger level two. Driver defense level demolition derby carriages you drive one but take less damage intimidation oh I'll take that so in other words the fight risk uh, kidnap victims aren't gonna run from me when they see me that would be an invaluable benefit So here, may as well upgrade with the bookmakers. Yep, moving up. So with the rest of the money. I can treat myself to an outfit once I have enough that is that was already upgraded the gunslinger coat oh, I had to get loyalty be in the favor of Frederick Aberline the, the, poli the police sergeant but as for the uh, boots because I got coats so the belts Are actually a defense. The belts have a defense, you know, uh, privilege or you know, benefit. So I need the best belt. That's the rough and tumble belt. The belt of a brawler. Compared to this one, okay. Keep the belt because Evie has cloaks and they have the same benefit for defense. I think I'm gonna switch guns. The single action army, switch to the bullseye revolver.
assume where I am with the uh, healing point still. So, let's get that guy. And you can call on your uh, rooks to take out enemies. Shoot. You were saying? Now run your shit! Now I'm gonna put rooks on the fly. Now, since I've got the little rooks, they're the ones that are gonna boost off of the blighters, the enemy gang, and give me whatever they've got. You can also move on gang strongholds and take over the area. Which is one step to taking over the districts you. that are overrun by the blighters. And there's also child liberation missions where there's these factories that employ children. Unfortunately, they're exploiting them and underpaying them. So you liberate those, you're in favor of uh, Clara, the little, the little kid, Clara. So we're going to go back and try to do the Charles Darwin mission. If not, we're going to try to route the train. Open fire. Oh wait, that's a cop. As much as possible, I try not to get in with the police. But I will with the blighters. Let's check to see where the uh, where if it's another train to run. Oh yeah, we're gonna go do a fight club. Let's go to the fight club. And there's helix glitches there, so let's see. We'll, so we'll just I guess we'll just take a horse and buggy to get that. Or know it. I can just leap. There's multiple ways to travel. This one, I guess, is the fastest. You know, they do have faster uh, horse and carriages. Next time I ride that train, I want to do it successfully. We're about 300 meters away from the fight club. And come to think of it, Ubisoft is the same game developer and publisher. And they both do development and publishing in the same business. I'm one to believe that they use this engine to create Watch Dogs Legion, the world of Watch Dogs Legion. And then some, and they build from it. Because since this takes place in London, add about a few centuries, and it's the 21st century. I hear the church bell ringing, which means it's almost night time. There's gunfire on the streets. One of my rooks is taking out the blighters. There's some folk singers singing in the on the concourse or the rotunda or at a or on a gazebo. Cargo escort. Let's see what that's about. Oh, 
come to that later. Right now it's the Fight Club. Oh yeah, I've been here before. But it was at night. There's Robert Toppin. The guy that was in the previous... One of the previous streams. I'm gonna do a fight with both. Jacob and Ethan. And these fights are actually easy. You just keep button mashing and beating the shit out of these guys. Here we go. Oh yeah? Oh shit. Since I upgraded my skills, these guys come down easily. Snap! Ooh, damn, look at that. Is that the best you got? Look at that. Ooh, shit, look at that. Unlockable moves. Ultimate fighting championship from way back when. You are a champion, yes indeed. Only you really kill these guys. Yep, keep fighting. There's four rounds. So I go through all four rounds to get the top money, which is 1,250 pounds. Oh, look at that. Damn, look at that. You want something, sucker? Oh, shit, look at that. Come here, bitch. Come here. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh. Ah. Heck yeah. How could I say no? I don't turn down money. Oh, mash him. Big dude, he wants some too. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Come on, sucker. Snap. I hope to be like you when I grow up. You wish. Earning the same amount of money. While you make money on the train, while the money gets added to the safe. There's so many distractions in this game. So there's a good fun factor. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you're gonna be drinking your own blood, sucker. Pick a number. You'll be picking your teeth. Good fight, my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. I'm going to fight as easy. Anybody fancy a challenge? Sure. But this time it's easy. This one needs some woman's touch. I'll check my skills. Okay. Skill upgrades will come behind me. Execute. Trust. Can't show herself. She's gonna be in a respectable pleasant. Go! 
peasant brat boss. Look at her, she's kicking ass. Oh, snap! I pity these men. How much as I like beating the shit out of them. Get their asses kicked by a woman. Of course we gotta keep fighting. We gotta make that money. These guys don't even have any tactics. They just throw punches but don't. Like they've got no techniques, no tactics, not even much a simple speak fire in some of them. I've got assassin ninja skills, stealth skills, that they do not know. And here they are getting their asses with like the fried twins. Yeah, lay down. I love the close up. Here we go. Ooh. Well, I'm not impressed. Snap! Ooh. You ain't getting up. Ooh. You get some, you get some, you get some. Hey, you big loser. No problem. Lay down. One more round of ass whooping. Come here. Come here. I think I'm gonna do two more of these. With Evie, of course. Make that money might as well. You can never get tired of this. Oh, look at that. Better speak for yourself, man. Talk about having men fall at your feet. My friends, cheer as loud as you might for our new champion. Yep, make some money. Yep, let's do it again. Let's do some two more, two more rounds of this. Don't worry, we won't tell you. Two more sets. You saved me from a life of dullness and boredom. Now head into the ring and let's spice in this place up. Where's the police when you need them? All right, come on up, line up, and get your ass whooping. Oh, you're gone. You're out. Come on. Who wants an ass whooping? Anyone? How about you? Jump in the ring and get your ass whooped. Any takers? Good luck with that.
putting y'all in the hospital and also in the grave. gonna play this until I get the uh until I get this achievement. In other words until I get the fifty. I get fifty over fifty. Looks like Willy Wonka with that get up, especially with the top hat. Definitely want to try to carry the race as well. I have time. I have no time in this one. Oh, no. 
bad for the person that has to carry the bodies away. All the bodies away. cash but also the bodies. Look at that. Alright, let's make some more money. We unlocked some skills too, so we'll up on the skills. Makes me more fierce and formidable. Alright, let's kick some more ass. Good to have you. Good to have you. I was beginning to worry. I would like to take on these brutes. Another game that I play, uh, Sleeping Dogs, also has fight clubs too. As you can see, oh, look at that. When I was playing Watch Dogs Legion and doing the bare knuckle lead fights, which is actually the same engine as this Assassin's Creed game, there's certain players that you can use, an endless array of characters that you can use that have good benefits. One is a character that's a protester in Watch Dogs Legion who can actually take handle gas attacks. He or she can be very invaluable. You finish the last bear knuckle lead. The feature challenger, the champion, cheats by using gas attacks. If they use a protester, they're immune to the gas. Yeah, 
Good record. 
Come on, who wants that ass whooping? Come on. Get in the ring, sucker. Bodies come. In sleeping dogs, when you engage in fights and battles and brawls, you can use the environment. For example, like throwing the guy right through the window or smashing the gate on him, even putting the right through the aquarium. for that journal, two for Slayer.
Slow the blaster. Slow. Easily, we can try that. So, see here. Let's go see. Uh, let's go get that chest. Let's go meet with the guy, Charles Darwin, or do another railway. Well, I'm in town. I guess I'll do the carriage race. Just so gonna try. I probably try it once before I move on with the missions. Come along. We have work to do. Sorry, I'm really Looks like it's been a killing. Maybe two. Give me the news. Do we all need to? Something's happening. What's the loop? What's this? Is this a train route? Do I see a train? Guess not, so we'll just continue with the race. Not the race, so it's actually. That's a bottle. So we'll do the carriage race. Join me. I'm on your side, man. Invite. Just give me a note. Oh, here we go. I wouldn't have been a bit of fun as you think. Time to do a carriage race, horse and buggy race. Hope they allow ramming. Yep. Back in the race. What the hell? Get back in the car. I'd be disqualified. What the hell in my race? What the fuck? Didn't mean that to do that. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! 
Carriage race, me and you. Someone pulls up on a horse and carriage and they wager. I guess street races are nothing new. Everybody's a winner, I guess. Yeah, okay. Right. Get on with the mission. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, cargo hide, yeah. Hijack, sucker. We're taking over. Ha ha ha. We're taking over. Bye, sucker. Oh, hey, get your hands off me, sucker. Get your hands off me, man. You to stop that carriage. Unhand that carriage, you naive. Unhand that carriage, Violet. Oh shit, I lost it. Fuck it. I lost it. Now we'll just go on with the uh, other thing.
see here. I hear a train. Okay, this is where I need to be. See if I can fast travel. You meet with Charles Darwin again. Okay, here's the fast travel right there. The threat ring appears when enemies are close by. Each arrow shows an enemy and the color of the arrow shows the enemy's alertness level. So if it's bright red, that means they're coming after you. If it's yellow, you're in a warning park. And then red, they come after you and they become hostile and aggressive. I hear a train. Is it the one I'm supposed to jack? Guess not. So we'll just continue on. Well, that's a bottle. some strikers over there. Now, why would you want to do that? Templars. Get him. Get him, mate. Get him, mate. Take care of him. <laughs> All right. If the police don't collect the body, the rats will. One less to deal with. Amen to that. Collect the body. This boat's met a nasty end. Let's see where we are. Where we're heading into probably an enemy turf. Don't worry, we're heavily armed. Look, I got. It. I'm fully armed. Look at that. And they're all women. How about that? I got five women. They just happen to be women. Now let's go. Let's go fuck up some blighters. Let's kick some blighter ass. Oh, watch this. Take her out. Bam! Shot caller. There's the other one. Take her. 
Bam. Now let's go find Dom. You could hijack a carriage, but I don't want to draw that much attention. But I think I'm going to need to uh, make sure I'm prepared. Let's see what's in the chest. Train. Good luck, sir. Lighter, three o'clock. Take him. Thank you. Stump some ass. Right here. Oh. Oh, no, I'm back. That's some sanitary. You and I may not have been, but I have never done you wrong. Yet someone never I take. Mr. Owen, you are truly the most insufferable fellow I have ever had the misfortune to count among my acquaintances. Mr. Dickens was right. Foul weather wouldn't know where to have you. Foul weather? Oh, I have so always sorry. been yeah, there's a man himself. Where is were responsible. Charles Darwin. Hope you're enjoying this stream. If you are, like, comment, and follow. The 9 to 5 Outlaw does gaming. YouTube I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Oh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive. <laughs> that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. <laughs> Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Oh shit, in that case, let's get that bastard. Stop! Come on, let's kick his ass! Get out of the way! Stay doesn't have a horn! That's a girl. Away, sucker! Stop! Motherfucker, stop! Slamming while slamming the old shit. You better stop. Stop, damn it, stop. Motherfucker, stop. Stop, motherfucker, stop. Stop that carriage. Oh, look, you're chicken shit, aren't you? Stop. Stop you chicken shit! Stop! Shit! Gotta do it again. <laughs> Gotta do it again.
Today's your lucky day. If you really want me. a good horse. You are. Whoa, now! Pistols at the ready! Walk on, girl. Use these horses and knock down street lamps and shit. Like a two ton car. Hey, stop! Kick your ass. Easy, easy. Hey, sucker. What the fuck? Come on. Stop. Stop that carriage. I heard that. Really? That far away? 
No questions. Hijack a train. Let's hijack that train while we're at it. The train to hijack. Let's jack that train. Jack it. Oh, jack. Oh, I got rattled. Right Ain't that a bitch? It's like ADHD. So many distractions in this game. One moment.
Darling. What's happening, darling? That's the way. Let's go. Too bad they don't put horns on these things. That's a girl. Steady on. There he is. Stop him. He's on the run. Stop him. Walk on, go. Pull over, dipshit. Once in a while. Hole. Oh shit, there we go. Who's a good horse? You are. I might have hit some kids. Kidding me? Stop! <laughs> Out of the way. Doing fine. Ah! That's the way. So stop! Stop! Fucking asshole, stop! Are you fucking kidding me? Almost had him! Stop! Give me that carriage! Ah, shit, he got away. Oh, there he is. There we go again. Now we're going. Whatever Darwin is paying you, it's not worth it. Do you realize how much trouble you're in? None at all? Yeah, well, I'm gonna wreck your shit. How you like that? I've always wondered how much of a beating this type of vehicle would take. It's intimidation. I just have a few questions for you, sir. I'm running out this whole city block. I will not be 
Don't fuck with me. You better talk, asshole. And don't even think about getting out the cabin. What about Snarek's soothing syrup? Yeah, the snake oil poison. Mr. Owen, that you know something. I'm gonna wreck this even more. Stop! I'm telling you, I do not know what's being I swear, I'm gonna have a fall and water. I'm gonna have There may be some truth to that, but you do know who created it. Tell me! Tell me, motherfucker! Next stop, the River Thames. Better speak now, old man. Alright. Steady on. Dr. Elliotson! Dr. John Elliotson! He formulated the elixir! He's the man you want! Not me! I beg you, good sir! Stop this madness! Now, was that so hard? Yes! I have a good interrogation. Now we got the schematic for the gauntlet. Awesome. Shoot! Whack this motherfucker! Smoke his ass. Take that, bitch! Gangsta shit. Picky blind as shit. You know I had to go there with the picky blinders. I'm actually watching that series, so that's the speed. So that's out of the way. So, what's the next thing I wanted to touch on? We're gonna go as a. We're gonna liberate this area. Back to work. We can't fall behind schedule now. Night and night, bitch. Locate Philip Beckenley. So this is an abduction. I think we're gonna do one. Oh wait, he's a Templar target. So we need to we need to mobilize. Hey kid, what you got for me? Hey lad, you got anything for me? Let's go get our squad together. And take these fuckers out. See how much money I got. Hmm, okay. Otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try. Find a target. There's the target. Philip Beckenridge. Advantage. Completing this challenge will grant extra money and XP. Strategy. Run over the target in a carriage. Oh, I like that. Let's go grab a carriage and run his ass over. Make the other oh, otherwise we'll just kill him straight away. I need a carriage. Kick his ass, smoke him. Smoke his ass, please. Thank you. Bye bye. Sucker. Take it away. Now, our target is a Philip Beckenage. Our target is a Philip Beckenage. We're gonna run his eyes over. 
Take him out. Shit, I'll drive. Fuck it, I'll drive. Fuck it, I'll drive. This is one of my characters. Just need something. You see the fucker? Run his ass out of Let's line up. Let's see how we get open. Alright, hit him! Die, motherfucker, die! Die, motherfucker! Run him over! We got him! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here! We got him! <laughs> Catch me now, motherfuckers! <laughs> Woohoo! We took out a Templar. It made it look like an accident. Accident lost control and I happened to run over that rotten bastard. Perfect. 30%. What else can we do here? Octavia Plum is the gang leader, female. So we can set up for a gang war. Oh, yeah. Let's go finish the sequence. Steady on. I think I need to replenish. Is that a quick travel? That's the healing thing. Ah, uh, I'm gonna empty this thing. I hear a train. Okay, I'll get to the train. Empty this thing. I'm sure I'm, I spilled up with some. See how much money I took in. So, about the last hour of this stream, folks. I'm really enjoying this game. I really need to change my rags. Complete all conquest activities in the borough to start a gang war. Yeah. So I think a pinky pinky blind is a gangs of war. Empty the safe. Ooh, look at this. Big money. Ooh, big money. Ooh, 24,461 pounds. Oh, yeah, we're doing some of this. Pretty well, let's check the inventory. See if I can. Yep. Let's reinforce the gauntlet. Huh, oh, okay. Reinforce gauntlet. Now we are here. For that, I think I'm gonna give my character a new outfit. Decrease detection by 25. Hmm. Here we go with 
with this. Okay, my characters are new on purpose. City type level. The T T magnet. Bomb disk. Yeah, so keep the cops off the air. Skills. Right. Oh yeah, look at this, look at my gear, look at that. Hit me. Good day to you, Jacob. Check me out. Now rest for the wicked eye. Yep. I love this outfit already. Got the top hat and everything. Now look at Rigo and shit. Look at this. Oh, uh, Rigo. Oh, look out. Hey, let's talk to him. Uh, man, man. What you got for me? Alright. Thanks a lot. Yeah, all I need is a cane, I complete the work. That's my sister. Dressing down. You got that right. Oh, well, I'll hook you up to the system. I was just thinking about father. It seems such a long time. Yeah, definitely am believing. I'm running things. I'm running things. Yeah, I'm 
Let's go through that thing. Just like this, not many people are gonna fuck with you. Even business. Look alive! What do you need me to do? Rook, to me, let's stir up some trouble. Smoke him. Oops, look at he just dropped like a fly. Hey now. What the devil is going on over there? Step off! My hey, God. You. Don't nice day for a bit of bloodshed, oh, isn't it? Very well. Yeah, we'll call it off. Let's go. Not today, officer. Go about your business. But we'll smoke All his together ass. Now. Smoke him. Bye bye. Smoke him. Check me out. 
fuck him up. Fire when ready. You do you Bam! Take Open it. fire! Please don't take the body. The rats will. Christ, I got a new and improved this end. That's when you haven't got a law breaking down your ruddy neck. That's Jim Bloody Bastard coming out! Bye bye. If the police don't take the body, the rats will. Are you looking for me? It's been a murder! Yeah, be glad it's not yours and shut the fuck up. Together now, she's a scuffle of that. Let's have a salvo. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Yeah, we'll get a drink. Yeah, we'll get a drink. Come on, man. It's not going alone, man. Oh, we're gonna use my uh, special case. Get us a virus. You, you're with me. Oh, we gotta update my lockpick skills. How much do I need? Uh, two.
so we're at the home stretch of this power of the screen. This whole screen. Where would I find the doctor? Draw and shoot! Smoker! As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Now bugger off. Okay, I'm gonna find a young doctor I did with him. Infiltrate. Assassinate John Elliotson. Explore the area. Identify opportunities. Nurse, infiltration opportunity. Young doctor, you need kill opportunity. So we gotta kill the find the doctor and kill him. How to do it? So we need a doctor. The the nurse. Unlocks all doors. Speak to the nurse, so. This gives an opportunity to, since she's been fired, she's gonna turn coat. So let's get to the nurse. Halt. Do not fire a single bullet. Let's go find the nurse.
take the place of the cadaver and the witch to the cadaver. I the forge. Good. Go do them shit. the heart. Taking a nap. Now we gotta find the nurse. I have a word with you. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. Now, 
The fairies. Okay, we got the key. Now we need to knock that out of the place. We gotta get down the stairs. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up.
Looks like that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Assassin's Creed Syndicate on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'll be back with another edition of this stream in a day or so. Take care for now. Stay safe.